if you've been listening to this show for a long time, and we've been at this, what now? Is it 16 years, Stugatz? Yeah, I think it's 16 years, yep. Um, you know that this show for a long time has had an obsession with Chewbacca, and um, it has gone through an evolution where we've presented Chewbacca, the existence of him, to people like T.J. Ford who do not know who he is, and then we get in these uncomfortable situations where we're trying to explain what and who Chewbacca was to people who don't understand. Chewy. So uh, Chewbacca, the man who played him, Peter Mayhew, has passed away, and it's a rare kind of fame, right, because most people would have no idea what this person looks like. And he just passed away, lived a long time for a giant, was seven foot three, and this means now that he has passed away, and there's been a real outpouring for his kindness and, and in remembering him because uh, this character, rare is the character like this that uh, that – People just have from their childhood that they take into adulthood and becomes a cultural phenomenon. So we have a Chewbacca file around here and we need to empty it now that <laughs> Peter uh, Mayhew has passed away. All the Chewbacca related things that are in our folder. We need to do some house cleaning here. Why are you laughing? It's just an odd file to have. I'm proud that we have it. I'm glad that we have it. It's a vast file, uh, but you're right. We need to clear it well, out. Well, I don't know what's in it other than T.J. Ford and one time our original producer asked Shaquille O'Neal something about Chewbacca's ability to rebound. Um, I So I, those are the only two things I remember off the top of my head, but we are now going to empty the file. So for those of you who do not know, and it seems impossible to me that you wouldn't, but we've run into a lot of people over the years while we're interviewing them who don't know who we're talking about when it comes to the Star Wars movies. And and uh, and also, one of the things that's happened is that we've learned that people like T.J. Ford come from a place where pop culture didn't matter at the time. Survival is what mattered at the time. And so Star Wars was a, you know, stupid thing that people could escape to and Chewbacca our file is I'm told to got nine deep nine things deep we're going to empty the entire <laughs> Chewbacca file I only remember two there's no chance that all of these are memorable and good right like this B Billy you've heard all of them you've heard all of them yeah they're not all memorable and good but oh. we're playing them all we have to empty the file yeah, today Dan and when you said that you wanted all the Chewbacca sound, I thought we were going to find two things and then we were going to be in trouble this year in scrambling. But not the case. We have a lot of Chewbacca stuff. I knew it was vast. I'm going to save the nine things in there. Perhaps maybe two to three of them are actually good. Okay. How many would you say, Billy? And we'll figure out uh, together which ones are the good ones. Two to three seems high. Okay, very good. So we will start. What is the Finns Hour? Um, because the Finns Hour, was that a Miami Dolphins Hour? Did we used to do a Miami Dolphins Hour? I'm assuming that the Finns Hour was when the Dolphins were on the station and there was a local Finns Hour to talk about the Dolphins either before the game or maybe oh. once a day. Okay, so what happens here is we would infiltrate all the other shows locally with our callers. We would just have them do nonsense on the shows. And so I imagine... A fake Chewbacca made appearance and made an appearance during the Finns Hour. Rex Hadnot, our guest here on the Dolphins Hour, live from Hooters. Let's go out to a caller. Steve, you're on with Rex Hadnot. Ah! I knew we'd um, have that one. Thank you, Dan Levitar. I appreciate okay, you texting uh, <laughs> callers yeah, here on the we, Dolphins <laughs> Hour. Hope, uh, hope that was enjoyable for all. We polluted all of the airwaves down here with things like that. We trained the callers to just create. <laughs> Create chaos. Um, now, help me out with this, Billy, because I have no idea what this is. What is this deep thigh bruise? Like, help me explain. What do you mean deep thigh bruise Chewbacca? I'm glad that you asked because I listened to it, and I don't know how to describe it other than that. All right. Well, go ahead and play that then. How do you think a deep thigh bruise would affect Chewbacca? How do I think what? A I'm deep. Sorry. A deep. <laughs> <laughs> Who was I talking to? No label, no information. Hold on, let me hear. Hold on, let me hear more voice here because we're interviewing somebody who I probably, I think, probably had a deep thigh bruise. Let me hear that. How do you think a deep thigh bruise would affect Chewbacca? How do I think what? A I'm deep, sorry. a deep. <laughs> It sounds like Ronnie Cycling. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm guessing. So why is DJ I Read talking to us about Chewbacca? You don't know this either. Good, Billy. Good. We're off to a great start. You don't know what anything is. Good. Yeah! Make some noise, Miami! DJ Aria! Yo! Chewbacca's in the house! Raise the roof if you're a wiki, y'all! 
<laughs> okay, very good. I mean, that's great. Uh, is it? Okay, yes. very good. So uh, Do we you see the position I found myself so in. So Dontrell Willis uh, was on with us. Were we talking to Dontrell Willis? And evidently there was somebody in a Chewbacca costume at the ballpark. Throwing out a first pitch that day. You ask him what it meant to him to see Chewbacca throwing out a first pitch. The D train. Dude, I was like a little kid again, man. I loved it. I started screaming like I was in, you know, Disney World. I was like, man, there go Chewbacca right there. Like, it's the real Chewbacca. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm yelling like it's the real Chewbacca out there and stuff like that. I was really impressed. I was upset I couldn't catch his first pitch, man, and go holler at Chewbacca. <laughs> All right, so this is what I have, and I don't have a lot of confidence in what's left here. So please help me, Billy, because uh, – and you, I am demanding that you help me, okay? Because you put together this list. You put it in front of me. You better be able to explain something that's on this list. What is fake laugh Chewbacca? What is that? That's someone calling in doing a fake – Chewbacca laugh. Okay, because we were wondering how Chewbacca would laugh because none of us had ever heard him laugh. All right, let's see. Fake Chewbacca laugh. You're on 790. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> as you'd expect. Sounds Drew- like he's just talking. Yeah. I mean, gold. Gold? <laughs> All right, Billy, I've got an important question for you. Who the bleep is Mike Doss? I'm Who- glad you asked. I didn't know uh, that, but I Googled him. Dossie. And Michael Allen Doss is an American fo- former football safety who played in the National Football League for six seasons. And so we asked him about blocking Chewbacca? Oh. Naturally. Mike, you're known as one of the harder hitters out there in the league. How would you handle trying to take out Chewbacca if you had him in single coverage? I would really take him thigh, thigh take out the thigh high, you know, take him out. I can't go up to the upper body. He's too big. i will probably try to go for those legs. Now you know why Mike Doss was the great that he was. He yes. had strategic advantages against Chewbacca. That has to have been at a radio row, right? There's um, no way that wasn't. I, it was probably at some sort of cheap remote that Stugatz dragged us to so he could fill his pockets with hundreds <laughs> of dollars, is what I would guess. Uh, so Andy King was our original producer. How about we hear him ask Shaquille O'Neal a, a Chewbacca question? Basically, are you familiar with Chewbacca? Yes. How would, you, how would Chewbacca defend you in the post? He'd cry like the little b- that he is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's right you, and he's right there yeah. would be no defending of Shaq in the post not by Chewbacca or anybody else uh, here's TJ Ford not knowing who the hell Chewbacca is what kind of center do you think Chewbacca would make who? <laughs> Chewbacca who is that? from Star Wars who is- I don't watch Star Wars you don't, so you don't know Chewbacca is the giant is the big guy that uh, the big hairy thing how the hell do you explain Chewbacca to somebody who doesn't know help me out here Stu Gods Big, hairy Star, Star Wars. Wars. I never was into Star Wars. He's a Wookiee. I thought everybody <laughs> knew that. <laughs> so finally, I offered you no help there. Oh, it's been my life since. <laughs> uh, Billy. <laughs> yes. What is Chewbacca Silent Night? Oh, what? Wait, this is, is this, wait a minute. Oh, this is it. Wait a minute. Is this one of the things that's funny here? Are you, oh, Chris is dancing. What is <laughs> happening here? Play Chewbacca Silent Night. Rest I, in power, Peter. I didn't want that. I did not want that to end. I wanted to play that for the rest of the show. It was beautiful. It really 